Geoestima Podcast, Season 2, Chapter 3. In the previous chapter, we discussed sampling in general and geology, emphasizing the importance of conducting it to the highest standards to ensure the quality of the results. In this chapter, we will begin discussing the QAQC process, or quality assurance and quality control, to which sample must be subjected to continue exploring and learning more about the geomining metallurgical business in Chile and the world. The QAQC process in geology is crucial to ensure the accuracy and reliability of the data collected during sampling. This process involves steps designed to identify and correct errors and assess the overall quality of geological data. Therefore, the goal is to obtain sample values that are both precise and accurate. Its name comes from QA, which means quality assurance in English and includes systematic activities to ensure a certain degree of quality. For example, performing a new automatic analysis of a batch if the standard is not within acceptable limits. QC or quality control in English encompasses techniques to determine the quality achieved. For example, creating charts demonstrating the standards are within upper and lower control limits. QA is about prevention and QC is about detection. In general terms, we can describe the QA-QC control by the following steps. First, sampling must be planned. This means that the objectives of the sampling must be defined clearly in advance and sampling protocols that best suit those objectives, including the frequency, location and quantity of samples, must be established. Second, the established protocols must be followed during sample collection and detailed information about each sample's location, depth and other relevant characteristics must be recorded. Third, during sample preparation, it must be ensured that they are adequately prepared for the required analysis, whether it be crushing, pulverizing, etc., and as in previous case, document any changes or alterations during preparation. Now, we enter the laboratory stage with the analysis. One of the most critical points is to work with reliable and certified laboratories, verify and document the analysis procedures used, and finally, include quality control samples, such as duplicates and certified standards, which we will see in more detail in the following chapter. Fifth, data control consists of evaluating the consistency and coherence of the data, as well as identifying possible errors or anomalies in the data sets. Then, these results must be validated by comparing them with duplicate samples to assess accuracy and verify data consistency with regional geology and historical information. Documentation and recording must be kept and detailed with all the steps of the process, and any deviation problems encountered or corrective action must be documented. Also, there must be peer review by colleagues or independent experts. Six, everything recorded must be concluded with a section in any report with the data dedicated to QAQC, describing the measures taken to address any problem identified during the process. Also, as always, use feedback and QAQC results to improve procedures in future projects and adjust and update sampling and analysis protocols as necessary. As you might have noticed, the thoroughness of the process and correct documentation of everything done and any eventualities is the most important thing for the QAQC process, which is essential to ensure the integrity of geological data and therefore inform decision making in the exploration and evaluation of mineral resources. Spatial location control is a critical aspect of the QAQC process since it directly influences the quality and reliability of the collect geological data. 
reasonable spatial location control allowed, precision in geological interpretation to ensure that samples are collected in precise locations, as errors in location can lead to incorrect interpretations. Correct geological modeling, informed decision making, to avoid bias in the data, If they are selectively taken in specific areas, reasonable control will minimize this risk and ensure a more equitable representation of the studied area. Another critical aspect is the mechanical preparation of samples. As we said, following consistent and standardized procedures and recording any anomalies is essential. Furthermore, as discussed in previous chapters, sample representativeness is very important. Mechanical preparation can affect representativeness if the process is inadequate and alters the sample mineralogical composition of physical properties. Something else to be avoided is cross-contamination between samples or loss of material during preparation so that the data quality is not affected. Also, avoid the presence of contaminants that might negatively impact the accuracy of the studies. Finally, equipment such as crushers or mills must be well calibrated to ensure process uniformity and sample quality. For analysis, the first thing is to use certified geological standards as these reference materials mimic the characteristics of geological samples and calibrate and validate analytical instruments. It is essential to have reasonable contamination control. This can be done with field and laboratory blanks, thus evaluating contamination during both the sampling phase and during preparation and analysis. Duplicates should also be used to assess the precision and reproducibility of results to identify possible problems during preparation or analysis. For mechanical and chemical procedures, it is vital to establish calibration curves using certified standards and ensure they cover the expected concentration range in geological samples. Instruments must also be checked and their performance must be regularly monitored to ensure that they are properly calibrated. As always, it is essential to validate the data, for example, perform a statistical analysis and comparisons to validate the coherence and quality of the data obtained. In addition, keep detailed records of each stage of the process. As this facilitates traceability and identification of possible problems, Important final comments. Quality control results must be verified and addressed promptly. The presentation must be clear and concise. Simply tabulating QA, QC results or calculating summary statistics is not sufficient. Graphics are essential. Do not forget to check for outliers as this can distort the interpretation of the results. This was the first of two chapters focused on the QAQC process. Today, we saw the basic notions and the importance of spatial location control and certified standards. In the next chapter, we will focus on laboratories and types of control samples. We invite you to stay tuned for our next chapter, where we will continue discussing and learning more about the geomining metallurgical business in Chile and the world.